Namaste. This is Vahida here. We will start by doing the prayer pose to condition ourselves. We'll be doing the Tarasan that is going on your toes. You can call it mountain pose or you can call it rocket pose. Inhale, take your hands up on your toes and exhaling come down with your hands down and your feet on the ground inhale hands up and exhaling do a forward fold trying to touch the floor if not then you can touch your ankles or shins one more time inhale and exhaling down you can take your head right down if you can inhale up and relax now we will go into one more standing pose where we'll have four feet distance between the legs and this is the side angle triangle where you rest your hand, your elbow on the knee and the other hand goes above your head. Come out of the pose. And this is a side angle triangle, hand going above your head and the other hand is resting on the knee. Head. So now we will go into the revolved variation by holding our palms into a Namaste. That's the Anjali Mudra. Bending forward, twisting your spine and going into the opposite side. Resting your opposite hand on the knee. And join your hands, take a nice spine twist and coming down with your elbow on the opposite knee. So you are in the variation of the pose. Now we'll be doing the tree pose. So here you will balance on one leg again. Take one leg up, put it on the inner thigh and stand in the prayer pose, try and take your hand up. If you can balance or you can keep it at your heart center slowly inhale and exhale here for a while as long as you can balance and then you can bring your leg down and hands down do it on the other side Balance your body weight on one side. Take the foot of the other leg and put it in the inner thigh. Take your hands on your heart center and then above your head. Balance yourself here, inhaling and exhaling. Point your gaze at one spot so that you can balance and then bring your hands and your leg. We can sit down now and do some sitting poses. We are sitting in Vajrasan, the rock pose. Inhale and exhale. Relax yourself. We now do the cat pose by taking a nice deep inhalation. Let your spine sink down, hips up and exhaling, put your head in and the hips in and push your spine up. Inhale and exhale. You will look up. Let your spine sink down, hips up and exhaling, put your head in and the hips in and push your spine up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. 
in him and take a child pose to relax coming up again on all your fours we will go into the downward facing dog pose so here you will let your hips fly up in the air and try to keep your heels down this is a three legged pose where you'll take one leg up and down the other leg up and bring it down once again in the downward facing dog pose walk your legs a little bit so that your heels go right down each time it's where you'll take one leg up and down the other leg up and bring it down once again in the downward facing dog pose walk your legs a little bit so that your heels go right down each time from here we will go into a plank and come on your knees chest chin and we will get ready for a snake pose the bhujangasana head up chest up and unfold your arms so that you go more deeper into the back bend looking up into the ceiling come back on your forehead exhale head up chest up and unfold your arms so that you go more deeper into the back bend looking up into the ceiling come back on your forehead exhale from here you can again go up into the downward dog by going first into the snake pose cobra pose and then curl your toes let your hips fly up in the air head in between your arms pushing back at your navel come on your toes and get one step in front of you and try to start getting up from the runner's pose right up into a wide legged pose going down into the extended triangle by taking one hand right at the floor or your toes and the other hand straight up looking at it you can have your hand on your shins too if you can't reach the toes do the same pose on the other side turn your toes slide a little bit on the other side and put your hand down and the other hand going up reach as much as possible you can go down and you're up from here we will go into the camel pose where you will rest your hands on your hips and take a back bend just to get ready for it you will do the half camel pose first by touching one heel and the other hand going up exhale inhale take your hand up go into a slight back bend exhaling bring it down back into the full camel pose now where your toes are not curled your both your ends are on your heels and your diaphragm is protruding out coming out back by taking the support of your spine and going back into the counter pose the child pose relax over here by inhaling and exhaling and come up again to vajrasana the inverted tabletop pose so here you will be having your hips going right up like a table straight up with your core energy and your head is looking at your tummy come back with the staff pose and now we'll be doing the inverted plank 
So here, put the feet down and take the whole body up. Head is tilted, straight up. And since this was a back bend, we will go back into a slight counter pose to have a forward bend. Just do a counter pose of forward bend, a little bit like a seated forward bend. So here we are doing a boat pose where you will lie down, grab your feet, try to stretch them out and get them together and use your core energy to swing into the boat pose balancing on your sit bones and out relax we will do this pose once more this is a different way of doing a boat pose i have made some other videos going into the boat pose in a little different way if you have subscribed you will definitely find those other videos also with the variations so here swinging back into the boat pose balancing on your sit bones this is the half boat pose where you grab your legs under the knees and on your tiptoes then you lift your feet up and balance on your sit bones crocodile pose first to relax your whole body by separating your legs your toes pointing out heels are in your head is on your folded arms breathe here In this pose, your heart gets a very good rest as it is in a nice resting pose. You are totally relaxed here. Very slowly get your feet together and fold the knees, come up into the bow pose by catching both your feet with your hands come down now you can catch your toes and try the same pose inhale and exhaling come out of the pose by catching both your feet with your hands come down now you can catch your toes and try the same pose. Inhale and exhaling. Come out of the pose. Relax again in the crocodile pose. Here you will have an increased heart rate. So you have to just relax for a while in the crocodile pose to get back your normal heart rate inhale and exhale till you find yourself in a very relaxed position and then raise your head up by getting your arms next to your chest feet together this is the sphinx pose where your elbows are right under your shoulders head is up this can be called a small snake too or the sarpasan now you will go into the bhujangasan where you are just up till your navel and you can also clasp your hands behind. Come out of this pose 
and sit down. A counter pose of child pose. Always after a back bend, take a slight forward bend. Just to have a soothing for the spine. And now we will be doing the best pose of this session is Shavasana. The corpse pose. Here your body will cool down and rest and relax totally. So keep your feet away from each other. Let your toes fall out. Your hands are also away from your body with your palms facing the ceiling. See that there is no curve in the spine or in the neck. Everything is flat on the mat. Let your spine sink into the floor. You will now scan your full body from your toes to your skull. Inhaling and exhaling nice and deep. And relaxing each and every part of your body from the toes to your skull. And when we are done, we come out from the right side and sit down. Here we are doing some friction on the palms by rubbing the palms together and cupping the eyes for it to get some rest. And that's the end of the session. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Anyone can yoga. Namaste.